Let's see how we can take data that is being colored using the conditional formatting feature and copy it and paste it into a new location, but not carry those conditional formatting rules with the paste. The trick is to throw away the conditional formatting rules without losing the colors that were produced from those rules. If I look at one of these cells in my source data and go up to conditional formatting and then manage rules, we can see that I have three conditional formatting rules one for low values, one for high values, and one for values in between. Let's cancel. Also notice that the numbers at the bottom are the results of some functions. The numbers on the sides are the results of average functions. That will become important in a moment. If we were to take all of these values and copy them, and then go to our destination and paste, everything comes over as we expect. But if we go into one of those cells that's colored, and we go to conditional formatting, manage rules, we can see that all the rules came with the copy paste. Likewise, the totals are still being produced via those sum and average functions. Let's hit undo. The way we can get all of this over into our destination without carrying over the conditional formatting rules and without carrying over the formulas, in other words, performing something like a copy paste values operation, is to highlight all of the source material and go up and click copy. But we're not going to hit the paste button. Instead, we're going to click this small icon in the lower right hand corner of the clipboard group. This will open up the clipboard panel. Now the clipboard panel can do a lot of amazing things and it probably deserves its own video. But what you're seeing right here is the option for what we just copied. It's like a thumbnail version. Let's scroll over to our destination. We'll drop our cursor in our paste location. And the only thing we have to do is click this thumbnail version of the copied data. So that brings over everything as we saw when we performed a normal copy paste. But if we click on one of the cells that has color and go to conditional formatting, manage rules, none of the conditional formatting rules carried over with the paste. Likewise, if we click on any of the totals, what were once sum functions or what were once average functions are now just values. So this executed the traditional copy paste values operation many of us are used to. One thing to be mindful of when using this copy paste technique is that we are throwing away the conditional formatting rules, but we can only carry over features from conditional formatting that are common to all other Excel operations. Take, for example, this different set of rules I've applied to the same data. Here I'm using data bar rules and icons. Now, since data bars and icons are a feature exclusively under the domain of conditional formatting, if I were to highlight this information, go up and hit copy, and then scroll over to my destination, and then paste, I will not carry over those data bars and icons because those can only be produced by conditional formatting. And if I throw the rules away, I lose the feature. So earlier, I was only using fill colors, and fill colors can be produced naturally by a variety of different fill techniques. So highlighting those cells, hitting copy, and then scrolling over and performing our little paste action will not result in the loss of filled cells by color. So it's an interesting little trick for a very specific situation. But the next time you find yourself in this situation, you'll know how to deal with it. Thanks for watching, and remember at VCTI, the learning never stops.